it's time to take a look at an often overlooked moment that I absolutely love. That's right, it's Goku threatening to kill a fool for standing between him and a good fight. Goku is often criticized for being too goofy and immature, throwing off the tone of what should be some pretty serious situations. A lot of the time, especially in Dragon Ball Super, we get McDonald's eyes Goku. You all know what I'm talking about. Someone mentions a fight, or some powerful opponent appears, and Goku gets all giddy and excited like a child. And that fight could be an exhibition match on a cruise ship, or a fight that literally puts the existence of an entire other universe at stake. While this is true to the character's carefree attitude, it's also kinda dumb, for obvious reasons. But it also ignores a lot of development Goku had in DBZ. That's why moments like this stand out so much to me, when Goku gets serious. Because as much as we all fell in love with the carefree hillbilly known as Son Goku, for some reason, it's just always super satisfying to see the main character of Dragon Ball, the strongest superhero in the galaxy, getting serious. Because we all know something awesome is about to happen. Just look at my number 14 video for this list. But here, Goku goes to some lengths we've never seen before. After Vegeta seemingly loses his mind and becomes possessed by Bobbity, he decides now is the time to have his rematch with Goku, and he's not going to take no for an answer. So he murders a couple hundred spectators at the Tenkaichi Budokai Stadium just to really get on Kakarot's nerves. Understandably, Goku is not exactly down with innocent people being killed like this. And what follows is a pissed off Goku that we really haven't seen since Frieza blew up Krillin. Goku's face here is awesome. He's like, bro, really? I will actually murder you for doing this. So Goku goes Super Saiyan 2 and now it's time to whoop Vegeta's 5 foot 2 ass. But Kaioshin is not having it. He knows that if Vegeta and Goku fight, this will cause the sealed Majin Buu to become free from his slumber. So, also knowing Goku's kind of hard in nature, he stands in his way and refuses to let him fight. Well, I'm sorry buddy, but you caught Goku on the wrong day. Goku does not even hesitate. He sticks his hand out and puts on the murder face of all murder faces. If Kaioshin doesn't move out of the way right now, Goku is going to blow this dude into a million pieces. Even Vegeta is shook by this never before seen attitude from his rival. Goku threatening violence like this is something we never see, never. And that's why it's so awesome. It also helps that it leads to one of the best fights in the entire series, but honestly, I think this face-off at the Tenkaichi Budokai is what makes the entire confrontation between the two characters work in this arc. Vegeta is at his absolute slimiest here, going lower than he's ever gone before. He's completely gone unhinged, you can see it in his facial expressions, and Ryo Horikawa, my god. This man's performance as Vegeta here in the Buu arc is just incredible. His furious reaction to Kaioshin questioning the importance of his rivalry with Goku is just awesome. Vegeta does all this insane crap just to get Goku to take him seriously, which he doesn't even end up doing. What a legend. Goku getting super, super serious in Kaioshin's face always struck me as an awesome little character moment. It's proof that Goku doesn't always have to react like a weird goofy hillbilly when he's faced with a powerful opponent. He doesn't have to be one dimensional. He can be brutal once in a while because even though he's a gentle and playful guy at heart, you always get the feeling that just under the surface, there's a fierce warrior ready to come out and mess you up if you screw with him or his friends. カカロット。この俺と勝負しろ。これ以上死体の山を増やしたくなかったらな。ジータ。おめえまさか。まさか<笑> 
松啊！古代罗，贝吉达どうしてもか。に本気を出させるためにわざとバビリーの実にかかり自制心をなくしあんなことをした違うかあなんだってこうでもせんと貴様は俺と戦わんたった一日で貴様はこの世からいなくなってしまう邪魔が入ってしまったからなそそんなことでたったそれだけのことでこんなバカなことをバカなことバカなことだとこの俺にはそれが全てだ魔人ブーのことなどどうでもいいこいつはこいつは俺の強さを超えやがった同じサイヤ人でありながらこの俺を抜いたんだ圧倒的な力を誇っていた王子であるこの俺をだこ,こいつに命を助けられたことがあった許せるもんか絶対ねえお待ちなさいどうしても対決したいというならこの私を倒してからになさいになさい。